I wasn't recording. Interesting. What's up? It's Mitch. I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going over the top 10 best silhouettes of 2017. This is the second end of year top 10 list video I'm making. The first one I did was the worst shoes of 2017, but don't watch it now. I'll remind you at the end of the video. The other two I'm releasing next week, the best overall shoe of 2017, and the most anticipated shoes of 2018. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss all the upcoming videos. So without further ado, here's the list. <laughs> Number 10 is actually a basketball shoe, and that's the LeBron 15. It sort of has a futuristic look, which I'm really a fan of. If we're being honest, it kind of looks like a space suit from the year 3017. That being said, it still looks pretty sweet. It actually doesn't look like a brick on your foot, which is really good for LeBron to step away from that aesthetic. So props to him. But yeah, there are some really nice colorways, especially the Kith collaboration that he did looks really sweet. And then also apparently this performs really well on court, so that's really good as well. Number 9 actually didn't release this year, it released a long time ago, but that's the Vans Old School. For whatever reason, these had a huge resurgence this year and you can see them basically anywhere you look. I actually have a pair of these, which is super rare because my collection is like two shoes. Shout out to all you broke hype beasts out there. This is a really nice shoe, it's not super expensive, which makes it even better. And there's some really nice colorways, like the fire colorway, and then also the penis collaboration was really nice, among others. Number 8. This is just on the list because I'm a hype beast, and that's the Yeezy version 2. This year Yeezy strayed away from the dirt and actually included some color this year, which was pretty cool. He released more colorways than ever, and almost everyone looked really nice except for this one, which is disgusting. That is a sneak preview of the worst shoes of the year, but don't watch that yet, watch it at the end of the video. Yeah, these are really nice, the improved silhouette looks really sweet, and some of the colorways are just really nice. Something that's really cool, it's not been that hard to get these, and you don't have to give away a kidney anymore to pay resale for this, which is pretty nice. Number 7 is from another Hypebeast brand that was actually in the worst shoes of the year as well. And that's the Balenciaga Speedrun Trainer. Balenciaga Speed Trainer. These are really sick. It's not super bulky like some of Balenciaga's other stuff. So if you're willing to give up an arm and a leg for these and can afford them, then they're really nice. The all black ones look pretty good in a tech wear sort of fit. And overall, these are really clean. Number six is another performance basketball shoe, and that's the Crazy Explosive 2017. Now, I don't have the Prime Net version, but I have the Mid, which is like the cheapest version. And these things are the most comfortable thing I've ever had in my life, and they're not even the best version. I swear these added a foot to my vertical. Before I put these on, I was barely touching net. Now I can do 360s, 720s, between the legs, flips, and dunk it all at the same time. It's incredible. Not to mention the fact that these look really clean on the court. The all-white colorway looks pretty nice, and then also the Las Vegas card... Uh, exclusive, I guess, that went with a training camp that Adidas ran in Las Vegas. Looked really sweet. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Sorry for the intermission, but just a quick shameless plug. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the best overall shoes of the year and the best upcoming shoes of 2018. As well as other weekly content that's gonna release in the future. Anyway, back to the list. Number 5 is coming straight out of the 1980s, and that's the Adidas Power Fit. He really brought these back this year. This has sort of revamped some other old school retro shoes, uh, such as the Reebok something that looks exactly the same. Um, those ones. As well as some other vintage looking shoes. Probably the best part of these is you can flex on people with Yeezys and only have to pay about $150. That's really sweet. So if your dad needs a nice shoe, this is a perfect retro shoe for him. They'll bring him back to the old days, the good old times. Yeah. <laughs> that. Number four brings back the running shoe trend that sort of died a couple years ago. That's the Nike Lab Zoom Fly SP. That should look really good, which I'm surprised at because I don't really like the whole running shoe aesthetic. But that being said, these are really clean. Apparently, they perform pretty well and is one of the best running shoes Nike has ever put out. This year, they really went hard to try and get athletes to break the two hour marathon limit, which has never been done before, and they failed. So. Shout out, y'all. <laughs> they look kind of sweet. So, according to marketing, they make you super fast. So. Yeah. Number three is another Nike sort of running inspired shoe, but more casual, and that's the Nike Air Vapor Max. When I first saw these, I'm not gonna lie, I thought they looked ridiculous. But as they got super popular, me being the hype beast that I am, started to really dig them. And apparently, these are one of the most comfortable shoes Nike has ever put out. So that's pretty cool. The materials are amazing. It's like a mountain of air cushioning underneath you, so you better feel nice. And there's some really nice colorways. The Comme des Garcons collaboration looked pretty sweet. And then also the all red colorway looked nice. The only thing I'm afraid of would be if you like step on a rock, would these not just explode? Then like you'd break your foot, but I don't know. 
Number two is the Adidas Human Race NMD updated version. I'm not sure what, it, what they're called. But basically, they're almost the same as the NMD Human Race from last year. Just these have a thicker outsole, so they're a bit more durable. And then also, the lacing system looks a little bit different. Regardless, this looks really nice. It brings the comfort of the NMD. And then, in my opinion, it makes it look even better. And I also really like the vision that Pharrell is trying to use with the Human Race line and promoting equality and cool stuff. <laughs> also, there's some pretty nice colorways out. I think the laces look really sweet on these. Comment if you agree. But yeah, next. Number one for the best silhouette of 2017. Drum roll, please. And this is the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0. I know technically these didn't release in 2017. I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is the first time that they released without an auction. But regardless, they released some pretty nice colorways other than just the basic black and white. This shoe is incredible. This is back to the future in real life. We are living in the future. We are the future. Go millennials. This YouTube account is the future. <laughs> so subscribe. Shit plugs all day. You know how it is. But yeah, these are really sweet. It's the future. They actually look pretty nice on top of the fact that they're revolutionary. And maybe I'm not the only one, but I'm just thinking of this one cartoon. I think it was like Wallace and Gromit where the guy has a robot to dress himself. This is what that is. I don't even know all the possibilities. This is just incredible. Leave a like down below if you agree that this is amazing. So yeah, that's why this is the best shoe. Best silhouette of 2017. If you're still watching at this point, I assume that you liked the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe down below for more funny cool content I hope don't forget that I'm also releasing these videos next week comment down below what you thought was the best silhouette of the year and why you think my list is complete garbage until then have a nice day and peace Skia.